using event blocks to do two things at once. First, we show a robot doing line following using a color sensor on its left side, counting red stripes with a sensor on its right side, and displaying the number of stripes on the top of the hub. Everything went fine as long as the number of red stripes was a single digit, 0 through 9. When it became 10, it took so long to display the two digits that the robot lost track of the edge of the road. Because it was no longer centered on the road, it could no longer count the red stripes accurately. Let's see that again. To fix this problem, we need to be able to program the robot to do two things at once. There's an event block that allows us to do this. We can plug other blocks into this block. They will be played when the main program broadcasts a message that the event block is waiting for. In this case, it's waiting for a message that says display count. To cause the blocks to play, we put a broadcast block in the main program instead of the write block. This broadcasts the display count message and causes the blocks connected to when I receive to play. Let's see how that changes what the robot does. That fixed the main problem, but after it displayed 9, it didn't display anything again until it got to the last red stripe and it displayed 25. This is because the main program broadcasted another display count message each time the robot saw another red stripe. The blocks connected to the event block kept starting over rather than finishing what they were already doing. They didn't get a chance to finish until they got to stripe number 25. To fix that problem, we need to create a way to keep track of when those blocks are busy. Let's create a variable called display busy. We set it to 1 whenever the event blocks are busy displaying a number. We set it to 0 when they finished doing so. In the main program, we add an if block so it will only broadcast the display count message when the event blocks aren't busy. Let's see how these changes affect the behavior of the robot. This time the robot stayed on the road and displayed more numbers. It didn't have time to display all the numbers between 10 and 25, but it successfully displayed 10, 16, and 22 before it turned left. We'll declare that a success.